Hello and welcome to DB Sync. Today we'll be looking at MS CRM Online and QuickBooks Desktop Integration. DB Sync is the provider of integration solutions that connect SaaS applications with other applications to share, search, and streamline information. The overall objective of DB Sync is to reduce the double data entry and have a better information sharing across multiple applications. DB Sync for MS CRM Online and QuickBooks Desktop Integration comes with an out-of-the-box solution to integrate accounts and contacts with customer in QuickBooks. Opportunity and jobs will be tied up in out-of-the-box solution and transactions like invoices, sales order, an estimate will be tied up by default. We also create a relationship of products and items between Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online and QuickBooks. And we also provide a lot of custom build solution where you can integrate your custom objects and custom fields between Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online and QuickBooks. Now let's quickly move on to the product demonstration where I'll be able to show you how DBSync has been architected and how the integration will work. For getting started with DBSync, the best way is to directly go to www.mydbsync.com and under the product section you'll be able to see all the enlisted integration which we have in place and the newly one is the Microsoft CRM online integration. If you go and click onto it you'll be able to understand the overall dynamics of this particular integration. The best way to get started with DBSync is to directly go and register for free trial and over here you have to define the source and the target field in terms of which will be the connection point, which will be the master database. So you can go and select the adapters over here. And as soon as you register for the free trial, you'll be getting the user credentials of DBSync through email. And as soon as you can get it, you can directly go and log in from the customer login screen. As soon as you log in from MyDBSync website, you can directly launch the application from here and it will be routed to the DBSync console. So as soon as you launch it, you will be automatically routed to the DBSync UI where you can see the pre-built process templates which we have in place. And for now, I have two profiles over here. One is MS CRM online to QuickBooks bidirectional. You can find all these profiles under the process templates. All these profiles are out of the box solution of DB Sync. Whichever fits into requirement, you can select the profile, click on view more. and you can directly add that profile in your DBSync account if that profile is already not there. If I go back to the profile section and if I take this particular profile for the demo purpose, if I go and click on manage and edit, you'll be able to see the adapters associated with this particular profile and that is nothing but two connection point. And in this scenario, one is the MSC RM and the other one is the QuickBooks adapter. You just have to go and configure the profile over here. So if I go and click on edit, 
you just have to enter the username and password associated with your MSCRM online account and it's pretty much the same with the QuickBooks adapter where you have to define the file name of your QuickBooks. As soon as you save it, you can directly go in that profile and see how exactly the actions have been built, how exactly the flow has been prepared within the DB Sync. So on this console, you can actually see a lot of actions built. And this is a process flow, how information will be moving back and forth between Microsoft CRM Online and QuickBooks. The integration will be working on the basis of these actions. So whichever action is enabled, that job will be getting processed at the time when you're running the synchronization. And for now, I have this particular action enabled which says Microsoft CRM Online Invoice to QuickBooks Invoice. So if I go a little deeper within that particular action, you'll be able to see how things have been architected for each and every action. You'll be having a reader, a mapper, and a writer. Reader actually defines from where exactly you're extracting the data. And in this scenario, the reader is Microsoft CRM. Writer is something which defines where exactly you are putting up that status. And then over here, the writer is QuickBooks. Mapper has the heart and soul of this integration where we map each and every field. So if I go and click on edit, it will open up an XML file where you can see the field level mapping associated with any action. So here you can see the target and the source. And for this particular action, target is QuickBooks and source is Microsoft CRM. And you can see all the field level mappings which are done for that particular action over here on the left hand side of the screen. You can always change the mapping as put to your business process, but these are the default maps which we have in place. Changing the mapping is pretty simple. It doesn't require any coding language. It's all about the business logics. Well, this is pretty much it about the architecture. Now, let me quickly show you how the information will be moving from Microsoft CRM Online to QuickBooks. For now, I'll be pushing across an invoice from MS CRM Online into QuickBooks, and it will be creating a new account. It will be creating a new job, and also it will be creating a new invoice based on the information which is available in Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. So for an example, if I pick up one of the invoices which is already in here and go and edit this invoice, you'll be able to see the relationship of this invoice with the opportunity and the account. So this invoice is associated with this particular opportunity. And in turn, this opportunity is associated with that particular account. So when we run the synchronization, it will push invoice, it will push account, it will push opportunity. Invoice in turn will be generating a new invoice in QuickBooks. Opportunity will be creating a new job in QuickBooks. And this account will be creating a new customer in QuickBooks. Well, there are a couple of touch points which needs to be followed when you're running the sync from Microsoft CRM Online to QuickBooks. So if I go into this particular invoice, I'll be able to show you which particular field, which particular trigger needs to be marked appropriately whenever you're running the sync. This generate object is the trigger point for running the synchronization from Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online into QuickBooks. So if I go and mark this generate object as invoice and click on save and close, the synchronization 
will get started as soon as we go and hit the web connector update selector. So for the desktop users of QuickBooks, we use QuickBooks web connector for running the synchronization. And what exactly we're doing is that we are configuring the DB Sync profile within the web connector. And whichever maps are enabled, whichever actions are enabled for this particular profile, those jobs are going to run when we'll start the synchronization process. Let me quickly open up my QuickBooks as well for now. And for now, we don't have that customer, we don't have that job, we don't have that invoice available in QuickBooks. But when we run the synchronization, it will automatically create all three things over here. For running the synchronization, we have two options. Either you can run the synchronization on a manual basis by selecting the profile and clicking on Update Selected. But if you want, you can set the synchronization on an auto-run basis. The minimum time required for running the sync is five minutes. And based on your convenience, you can set the time over here. For now, let me quickly run the synchronization on a manual basis. I'll just go and select the profile and click on Update Selected. And at this point of time, DBSync will start looking for that generate field which has been marked appropriately. It will go and look for the actions which has been enabled appropriately within DBSync. And based on those attributes, it will start creating new customer opportunity and invoice. And the customer has been created. Now it will be associating the job with that particular customer. And after the job, the invoice will be getting generated. Clients who are not using jobs, we can always disable that so that you can have a relationship of invoices directly with the customer. Invoice has been generated as well. Synchronization is still happening as it will go and update Microsoft Dynamics CRM online and it will make that generate field as invoice updated. Well, it's nothing fancy over here. If you go and select this particular invoice, you'll be able to see all the line items which we associated with the invoice in Microsoft CRM online and it will reflect over here in this particular manner. This is the account and this is a job which will be showing up the billing address, the customer name, the job name over here. Well thank you one and all and please directly go to my DBSync website and get started with the free trial and we'll be more than happy to assist you in getting the trial installed on your system. Thank you.